Hey everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD and ProtoPie tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make this amazing pull gesture animation, menu animation in Adobe XD and ProtoPie. So go ahead, take out your laptops and let's get started with this video. Before we get started, I now have an Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. I have a lot of cool videos, live sessions, content out there on Instagram. Okay, so to start off with, I will create an artboard. I'll click on A on the keyboard and on the right, I have all these options. I'll choose iPhone 10. 10s and 11 pro in this case what we will do is first of all we'll create uh, a rectangle just above this so i'll make sure that it fits this artboard almost perfectly and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a tool which i really like using it's called web gradients and if i scroll down i have a bunch of cool gradients that i can you know just copy and paste into my adobe xd but in this case i really like this one so what i'm going to do is just copy this a hashtag or this this is basically a hex code for those who don't know this is the hex code of this color so dark blue is this color the next step is to actually create the cards that we have uh, that we had in our example uh, these cards are basically rectangles which are you know precisely the first one should be in the center of course make sure that the border radius is about 24 24 to 32 is a is a great value you i can do 32 as well uh, and I'll remove the border to make sure that, you know, it looks good just like this. So the next step is just to duplicate this. We can do this by holding option or alt on our keyboard. And as you can see, I've just duplicated this rectangle. I'll make sure that this rectangle is uh, is less in opacity. So in, for in this case, I'll go for something like 60 and we'll just keep on going 40% less. So this case, I will make sure it's just right below this rectangle. And to scale it up, what I'm going to do is hold shift and at the bottom, I find this circle here. I'll just drag the circle out. And as you can see, it scales up. So it increases in size based on the aspect ratio of this rectangle. I'll put it right below this, not too much. Yeah, perfect. As you can see, we have a really interesting looking stack which has been made here. The last step is to just, you can either put a menu icon here or you can put a profile icon, whatever you like, you can put up here. What I'm going to do in this case, I am just going to go to my favorite icon library which is remixicons.com and I'm just going to pick up a menu icon from there. Now that we have a good solid UI the next step is just to create the menu items we can easily do that by you know making sure that the final position has been set up so we just need to drag all these rectangles down quite a bit not much just a little bit just to give breathing space for the menu items. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the menu items for right now. I will give this as an Adobe XD file. So if you want all these assets and resources, it will be in the description below to download. Now, all I need to do is go to Artboard 2. Just click on the Artboard and go to File. And if you have Protopie installed under Export, you will get this option of Protopie. Make sure Protopie is installed, of course. And once this is done, it will ask you explicitly what is the export size. I'll go for at 4x, that is cool. And under this, make sure that this third option, update layer orders and grouping structure is always selected. You know, it's on always. And I'll say import. Now everything is imported, everything looks good. The next step is to actually do the pull animation. So for that, what I want to do is first of all, I will select all four of these items at the top, which are groups in this case, and I'll make sure that opacity is set to zero. You can do that from the right panel here and just set it to zero. And you know, I might even change the position. I might drag it up a little bit. So as you can see, it's being dragged up right here. Now for the rectangles, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the top rectangle is closer to the menu right here. Perfect. And so on and so on and so forth. I'm just going to stack it very, very similarly what we did with Adobe XD. Uh, we're going to do with Protopie, you know, just adjust it so that it is looking good. All right, now everything looks stacked up. Everything looks good. Now the next step that we need to do is actually create the pull trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this topmost rectangle, which is rectangle eight in this case. And I'm gonna say add trigger. And of course we want it to pull. So under touch, there is an option called pull. I'll click on pull and very conveniently it has selected the rectangle, which we had selected earlier and it gives us direction. 
So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this bottom one, bottom arrow, which indicates that once you swipe to the bottom, it will move along with it. Distance, I want to keep not too much, maybe around 40 or 50 should be good. And I want to say yes to follow over pulling for sure. And ease in out is more preferable in my case. And I'm going to change it from cubic pixie to quad. Very good. And I'm going to change the duration from 0.2 to something like a little more refreshing, something like 0.4 should be better. Now, this is really good. Now we actually put the movement in. So what I'm going to do is under pull, I have this plus icon. I'll click on that and say move. In this case, I will select the first rectangle, which in this case, again, is rectangle eight. Move to rather than saying move to, I can select move by right under that. And for Y, I want it to be somewhere around 200 for the Y. So it will move it down by 200 pixels, which, which will look good. And of course, cubic, I'm going to change to quad. And duration, I want it to be 0 0.4. Again, 0 0.4 is better. Start delay, no start delay. Perfect. And the easy part now is that I can just click on this move option and say command D or control D to duplicate this. So the same thing you will need to do for the other rectangles, rectangle 9, 10 and 11. So I'm just going to very conveniently just search for rectangle 9 and 200 Y is perfect. Ease in out quad 0.4. The only difference in this case is rather than saying start delay 0, I'm going to say 0. So that will give it a slight delay and it will seem as if you're dragging out all these rectangles that look good. Same thing. I'm just going to duplicate it again and do it for rectangle, rectangle 10 in this case. Yes, rectangle 10 and duration. Everything is fine. Start delay is 0 0.4 or 0 0.3, a little more than that. All right. So once you have all the rectangles and the movements set up, the next thing is to actually display the menu items for, for that. What I'm going to do is just going to say plus icon again here. And under this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say opacity. Where is opacity? Yes, opacity. And I'm going to change rectangle eight. Perfect. And I'm going to set the opacity to 200. Since it was zero before, it will now turn into 100. And I'm going to give the duration to about 0 0.6. So it will take slightly longer than dragging down. And of course, I'll make sure that the rectangle eight is changed to the menu items. So the menu items here are these top ones, group one to seven. So I'm just going to give group one. So make sure that opacity is not of rectangle eight, but of group one. So group, group, group one. And I'm just going to search for group one, which is that perfect. I'm just going to duplicate again this opacity by saying command D or control D on the keyboard. And I'm going to change group one to group two. So you can basically do this uh, in batches or what you can do, make it a little more convenient. You can just select all of these and say command G or control G to duplicate that. That's another trick for now. I'm just going with the traditional model. Now that you have set everything up in this case with opacity movement and everything, let's just try this out. How do you try it out on your phone? If you want to try it out, you can always get the protopie app on your Android or iOS device. And that way you'll be able to log in with the same account and access this online or just scan it with this QR code right here. Or of course, there is a preview button right here. I can click on this and it opens an actual mobile preview on the right. So now if I pull down, like just pull it down like this, drag it down. As you can see, it drags down and all these profile items come right here. So they're looking really, really cool right now. Of course, this will look much cooler on your mobile device. So do try the Protopie app on your phone as well. And of course, to give that pull back or pull to the top feature, what I'm going to do is if for some reason, if I duplicate this entire action and say pull up, it doesn't really function that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle here by clicking R on the keyboard, just going to drag this down to the bottom of this phone display. And you know, just make sure that it's full width. And of course, slightly taller than this. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this, I'm just going to double click on the name on the left here. And I'm just going to name it trigger, you know, so it kind of is a trigger and I'm going to make the opacity of this one. So it, it exists, it is there, but you can barely see anything or notice anything. And what I'm just going to do now here is just duplicate this. So command D to duplicate the entire action also. And here in this case, I'm going to give up action. So it basically when you drag up or pull up, it will do the same. 
and rather than saying rectangle 8 i'm going to select this trigger item that we have created on the top right here so basically if i drag the trigger up it will reset all these things so of course resetting in this case would be basically just removing move by we will say minus 200 in this case right and with the with all these things as well all these elements here as well we're just gonna say just select multiple at once by holding shift and selecting multiple and just say minus 200 uh, so it's, you're basically reversing the entire action and for opacity here of course i'm just going to say opacity is zero so it just vanishes all these little menu items on top first of all i'm just going to drag it down so it creates that drag down effect and from the bottom if i pull up now oh see how it retreat see how it retracts or it receives back that looks really really cool and i think that will look good on menus and even other things like pull to refresh animations and stuff like that so go ahead and give this a try at the rate Puneet Chawla official if you want to tag me on Instagram that will be cool I'll feature you on one of my stories thank you so much for supporting my channel if you don't support it yet all you need to do is just subscribe to the channel also click that bell icon right next to it so that you get my videos before everyone else and also click on the like button if you like this video I'll see you next time every Monday and Thursday same time thank you guys I'll see you next time God bless